Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. So I have a little project that I want to do with some scraps, but first let's say hi and hugs to Rowena, Bija, Whitney, and Martina. Thanks so much for watching and for your nice comments. Well, as you can see here, I have got some of them um, little mini folders from Tsunami Rose's Pink Christmas um, Digital. I've gotten some cut out, and I thought I had enough to start with, probably, so we'd go from there. I went ahead and inked this one. This one will, will kind of do start to finish, and um, I'll ink... I'll ink the other ones later so that you don't have to just watch me ink. So I'm going to set those aside and we're just going to make some little notebooks. And <clears throat> I have some scraps to use up. I've got, um, I grabbed this pile of coffee dyed paper. Um, this was some that I purchased. And as you can see, it's like all kind of wrinkled up and, um, not some of them are too bad but not really what i'd want to put in my um my big journal so i'm going to use this coffee paper i'm going to i'm going to go ahead and take the liberty of considering that a scrap i have some scraps from this is a uh, Santa Baby collection. I did some uh, journals with it last year, not using it this year, so I'm going to consider it a scrap too. These are true scraps, but there's a small um, paper pad that will fit just right in these, I think. Um, and yeah, and there's another one. So, and then, um, and then also this big bag of scraps that I use to back things. Um, I think some of those might work just fine in, in these little journals too. <clears throat> so aren't they so cute? I love, love the images. They are so cute. So fifties. Really love them. So anyway, I just pulled out some of my favorites. These little, uh, journals. Oh, let me show you this as a trick. I was going to do this. And then I'll tell you the other thing. So last night when I was cutting them out, um, I thought, oh, I need to show you guys this because they are, the corners are rounded. And so just as a little trick, if you fold them, then do the round cut, then they turn out exactly the same. Whereas if you try and cut it here and here, sometimes they don't. So just a little cutting trick that I thought I would share. Okay, so my thought was to use um, two pieces of coffee dyed paper and then randomly whatever else. Maybe just use about, I don't know, six pieces of paper in each one or so. I don't want them to be too fat because some of these are going to go in journals. Oh, but the other thing I was going to tell you is these make great little gifts for your crafty friends too because you know they're just almost like a Christmas card okay so let's measure these little things and decide what size we want our papers okay so it's six and some I am going to do my papers six inches six inches this way and I'm gonna go four and a half this way. So that's easy, six by four and a half. And that makes it, well, they won't be quite six, but if we go four and a, four and a half, oh no, that's not eight and a half. But let's just go, so these papers are eight and a half by 11, right? So if we go in half, four and a quarter, right? Let's see here, four and a quarter. Cut that four and a quarter. Nope, it's not straight. That's the other problem with these super wrinkly papers. 
there. Not straight. Won't go through my printer, that's for sure. Okay, so that is right. That could go that way. Do I like it? Not that much. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna go with my original thought and I'm just gonna go, um, I'm just gonna take two pieces, five and a half, What was I thinking? Okay, yeah, okay, so four and a half. Let's cut one four and a half. Get my mind going in the right direction. Some days that's harder than others. Okay, so four and a half. Might as well do another one while I'm here. Four and a half. Okay, four and a half by four and a half by six, right? Yeah, by six is what I said. Making myself some good scraps. <laughs> As usual, scrappy Saturday. Oh yeah, that's just right. That's really good. Okay, so four and a half by six. Okay, okay. So at least we have a couple to start with. Um, oh, I'm probably going to need this, aren't I, for like other little papers. So what I was thinking with some of these, um, some of these papers, this one is the journal cards from that Santa Baby collection, which was Prima, by the way. So I thought what I might do on these two scraps just fold them in half and put these in the middle of the signature of this little of this little thing not wanting to make it too thick but um, let's see, I'm looking for my bone folder not wanting to make it too thick because I'm gonna sew I'm gonna sew them that's how I'm gonna put them into the into the book so, okay, let's put this one in this one and we'll see, I probably want at least a couple of more pages in there. Yeah, at least one more, I would say. So, let's look, I saw in here, in my scrap bag, that I thought I had a piece of straw paper, which would be good something different and can be written on. Okay, I'm going to set these right there so I can get to them. Okay, so this needs to be four and a half. A little strippy left. Okay, and then I'm going to go I'm going to go six I am actually gonna go six and a half because I kind of want to rip down the sides, just have it have a torn look on the edge. Just, just cause. Oops, that's real torn. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Just going to eyeball that. I'm going to put that one in between the toffee dyed papers. Gosh, I have a scratch on my finger there. I have no idea how I did that. Isn't that weird when that happens? It's like, it's a pretty good one. That should have hurt. <laughs> that should have let me know I did something. But okay, so yeah, I just have these few pages. Okay, let us bring over Mr. Sewing Machine. Theoretically, if we can get all the stuff out of the way to get it. Okay. Um, now, it might be a decent idea. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab two big clips.
as I knock over the whole entire thing. I have these big clips and I think what I'll do is just pop one on each side just so my pages stay where I put them. Okay. And straight stitch is what we got going. And just going to start right here and get my foot pedal in the right position. Okay. Whoops. Well, we'll see how this turns out. I had a little slip. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It wasn't much. Okay. So those are in just like that. Okay, I'll move the sewing machine back over. And unclip her. And... There's our little booklet. Isn't that cute? Just a tiny little booklet. Now, I think I am going to put, um, I think I'm going to decorate the covers of these. I mean, I love this, yes, and but I'd like something that says, hello, I'm a cover. And um, all the cuteness is on the back still. So, um, let's see, what did I, oh, talk amongst yourselves, one second. I just wanted to use, I had, I by on accident, these printed twice. So, you know, these things happen. <laughs> to me, they do anyway. To me, they do. So anyways, I wanted to use these. I'm looking at this one because this is a Santa. I think that's the one we're going to go with. So anyway, hope y'all are having a good crafty day and and enjoy putting these together with me. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a good way to use up your, what would you call them? Plain scraps, you know, scraps that can be written on. And you can get as fancy with these as you want. You could put, um, you could put little, pockets on the inside here if you wanted or on the pages and and all I'm just gonna kind of make some fairly simple little um little notebooks see isn't that cute oh it's so cute I kind of want something behind it which is great because I could use up another scrap Let's see, what do I have over here? Um, let me get my Christmas scraps and see what we might have. I kind of like a green if I have. Um, yes, I think this might work just great. Well, it's going to be sideways, but that's okay. I just want it to kind of frame him a little bit. So yeah, we'll use some Christmas scraps while we're at it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. I, I'm gonna go down here because this edge isn't straight. Um, so uh, tsunami roses pink kit. Pink Christmas has tons of pieces to it. So I showed it a few days ago in a Etsy share, but um, I'll put her to, her uh, link to her website in the description box. She is a dot net. She's tsunami rose dot net. So anyway, this is, this is 
fine. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I have a tickle. I need to get a little sip of water. I'm not going to be able to talk. Mm. Okay. There we go. That's better. Okay, so... Yeah, that's going to go there. That's going to be cute. Um, Let's... Where's my blue book For sakes things are falling all over the place okay and I'm just gonna glue Santa on on there and then I think I think I'll use art glitter glue we'll see I had to do the hot water on my art glitter glue it was yeah, oh yep yeah, little water came out <laughs> oh it was um so goobered up I was like not able to get the glue out, but then when you um, go ahead and and run it under hot water, it really, that just does the trick, and you don't have that problem anymore. So, Santa, I would like you to be straight. Okay. And there we go. There's just a simple simple little notebook for putting in and we're using up scraps in the meantime. Okay, so I thought um, maybe we decorate all of these and then um, if we have time to put some more pages together, we can do that too, but because kind of the decorating is the fun part. Oh, I know which one. This, this little this little girl one, I wanted to put this girl on the front because she kind of goes well with them. So, um, this is airing on Scrappy Saturday, but of course, you know me, I have to have, I have to have videos ahead or it causes, causes me stress. <laughs> so, so I'm actually filming this on Tuesday. Um, okay, that there, and I think I want a little bit of lace behind her because, you know, the girly girls. Yeah. Um, so what would I like though is the question. Um, that one would be good, I think. Um, yeah, so it's Tuesday. So I ran out and ran a couple errands. I, um, we needed, <laughs> we needed some new bath towels, you know, you know how it is. You use the same bath towels for a while and they, I don't know. They just get to the point where you need new ones is all. And so I went to TJ Maxx, which I haven't done in months. And to the point that I almost felt a little anxious doing it. <laughs> And so, anyway, I told Mike, I said, I have to get out more, even if it's just uh, to drive around a little bit or something, you know. I just need to get out of the house a little more. So, anyway, I went to Hobby Lobby because I had seen they had Paper Studio on sale. And so, I went and got some card stock. Oh, yeah, that's just enough. That's great. Um, went and got cardstock. What? Oh, I had to get uh, frames because I we got some grandkids um 
school pictures and then we also got a big uh poster from uh Addie's volleyball team and um we had made a little donation to him and so we got a poster that was signed by all the girls so that was nice and then um I wanted to frame it and put it in our I call it the VR room. It's where Mike has his virtual reality set up and plays in there. <clears throat> so that's his room. I get the whole basement. <laughs> he gets a little room. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, but um, that was fun. So lucked out and the frames were 50% off too today at the old Hob Lob. So it was great. I was like, yes, good timing. Um, so anyway, did that today. It's a beautiful day, sunny and everything. And it, we're supposed to get more snow. So I thought, I'm just going to do it today. So I did. Okay, that is super cute. And when I distress it, I think that'll be real fun. Okay, so that cover's done. Look at this one. Isn't this one cool? I like the black background. Um, I don't know what I want to put on it, though. At all. Gosh, my phone, my uh, doorbell just rang. I don't know who that would be. Hmm, maybe it's... UPS or something. Wonder how that one would go on there. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to stop like that, but my husband's not home. He's out running errands, so I don't know who it is, but I think I hear the UPS truck, so so that's probably it. Cause I've Done a little bit of Christmas shopping, not too much. Yeah, we I, we got a call from my one daughter in Denver, and they're not going to come for Thanksgiving. They just don't want to take the chance. It's like ah, I I totally agree. Okay, so that's super cute on there. I don't know that it needs um a framing really. That's kind of blank. I wonder if I could just like put a little lace across there or something. Yeah, that's cute. That almost looks like snowflakes. Um, yeah, so they're not coming, which my husband and I were iffy as to whether or not we would go to my daughter that wanted to host anyway, because, you know because of so um anyway so that was kind of sad but we had a great talk and we talked so long that I didn't get my comments answered today <laughs> usually I spend an hour an hour and a half in the morning another hour midday and then an hour at night at least um, answering comments and correspondence and, you know, emails and things from my, goes that way, things from my, uh, website and all of that. So I'm going to be behind. So I think I'm going to, after I do this video, I think I'll go up and get caught up because tonight we have the playoffs for, um, for Addie's volleyball. It's uh and they are playing in their home gym because they beat this this team twice during the regular season. So they um get a home game. But so we'll get to watch, be fun. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that is happening tonight. 
Oh, that's cute with that across. Yeah. It really does. It looks like snowflakes, don't you think? Okay, so that one's done. So quick, I mean, they're quick. The thing that takes the longest, at least for me, is just putting the pages together, you know? That's it. Um, that's another Santa one. Christmas tree, no. Seasons of greetings. Maybe. There's another cute one over here that we might use. Um, yeah, so that's what's on our agenda tonight. Oh, gosh, you guys, we watched a really good movie last night. It was um, on Amazon Prime, and it was called It's a Beautiful Thing, I think. And it's about, um, it's about, I'll tell you, it's, it's kind of like, more in a documentary style than a movie movie because it has the actual people in it. That's kind of nice, isn't it? I think that's okay. Um, so yeah, um, we watched that last night. You know what? I want to, I there's one more that I just want to try and just see if I like it better. Um, so yeah, we, we enjoyed that, but what made me think of that is because we have Addie's Volleyball, we won't be watching a movie tonight, which is a nice change of pace, you know? So yeah, today is actually is election day, the day that I'm filming this, so hope everybody's had a chance to cast their votes and, and everything. I told you a long time ago, Mike and I we voted early. So on the day when people are scrambling, we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> okay, so do I like that better or that better? Hmm. I think I like this better. I'm glad I glad I took a minute to cut it out. So so yeah, that's happening today. And then so I imagine we'll watch the news, then we'll watch volleyball. Okay. Okay. So that is all good. I with the little pink um frame around it, I don't even think that needs anything else. So how awesome is that? So yeah, like I say, these are a quick little project and fun for an extra special Christmas card or fun in your journals. Either, either or. Cause yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to make, um, a pink journal out of the, let's see, it's from, what's it from? Beadcraft Chic, the one that I showed that day. I think I'll make, um, I want to make a cinch journal. So I think that's going to be next on my agenda. Okay. So let's see here. We are running out of the up and down ones have the Christmas tree. That's too much paint. Okay, there's nothing here that I want to do. So let's grab out. Let's see what else. Because, I mean, there's like 22 pages of these. <laughs> oh, look at these two. These would be cool. Oh, look at that one. That's so cute. Okay. I kind of put those on top. Maybe I'll do a few with those. Okay. Okay. Hello and Merry Christmas. I like that one. I like how these are kind of ringed in black because.
because again, you don't really need anything behind them, except that I'm supposed to be using up scraps. <laughs> so I'm defeating my purpose there, but that's okay. Alrighty then. Oops, I just snipped that one a little bit. That's what happens when your scissors are sharp. Get a little crazy. So I was telling you about new bath towels. Love them. Love them. They're real fluffy. You know, I know you can get bath towels online, but you can't feel them. You know what I mean? I mean, there's something to be said for shopping in person <laughs> because you can feel the, you know, the softness or whatever, you know, it's, yeah, I don't know. So, I mean, I buy a lot of things online, but some things I like to be able to touch. <laughs> so the only, I mean, Macy's here closed, so we don't have that. I mean, we have Target and Walmart and stuff, but TJ Maxx is really the only kind of like, I don't know what would you call it department store or whatever that is still in our town isn't that cute oh love that okay these kitties I was thinking they might be kind of interesting to find something to go with oh look at here here's a kitty never mind Daisy's got me covered So, so yeah, I ended up buying bath, bath hand and washcloths, towels, and then I bought myself <laughs> some new jammy pants. Again, they were so soft, I just had to buy them. And then on the way in the check, check stand aisle, you know how they always put goodies there? Well, they had some... I think they're Columbia brand socks that were heavy and they were super soft. And um, I think I've told you before, working in my room down here, I sometimes my my ankles get really cold uh, in normal socks. So, um, so that was great. I was able to, I think I need to switch pages here. I was able to grab a pair of, or uh, a package of two pairs of socks. So I'm excited about those. Oh, and then I got, I can tell you because he's not here. I, um, they had some KitchenAid Christmas um, oven mitts. So I got them for Mike for Christmas. Just a little, you know. I don't know if we're going to do stockings, but if we do, they would be a good stocking stuffer. And if not, they're a fine present. Okay. Oh, that is super cute with the kitties too. Okay. Very, I'm very happy with these. I think they are super fun. Okay. What do we want on the deer one? Let's, let's look through here. Don't want those. I don't, oh, here's the one with the deer. Don't know about that color though. Well, let's cut it out and see. And yeah, at Hobby Lobby, I didn't get anything extra except for I got these because um, Paper Studio was on sale, and I love these little flowers of Paper Studios. So I did purchase those. Oh, and I got I got a punch too because at Paper Studio, so the punches were half price, and you know when they're twenty bucks, that's a pretty good, pretty good savings that you have. So it was just um, a set of four punches that were tiny, like a tiny flower, tiny butterfly, uh, tiny. Uh, dragonfly in a tiny leaf. I actually wanted it for the leaf, but 
That's all right, I got the extras too. Okay. Mm, don't like it very much. Nope. I think we can find something that speaks to us a little more. In all of these, we should, right? Oh, that's a cute one, but I think it might be too fat, is it? Okay, well, let's cut it out and see. Sometimes you just gotta hold it up onto the, onto the card to see. Sorry, I had that up to my face because my glasses are falling down. I've got new glasses and I just have never gotten them adjusted right. They're either, they either hurt my ears or are too loose and fall down my face. I was getting so annoyed yesterday. I was doing gardening out in my garden and gosh, they just kept falling down and falling down. I'm like, oh my goodness, you're driving me crazy glasses. Yeah. Okay, she's being picky on this one, peeps. I'll know it when I see it. And there it is, I think. Look at this with the little de the reindeer in the in a streetcar, Santa's streetcar. <laughs> That's Santa Claus in San Francisco. <laughs> Drops his sleigh off in the suburbs and then he takes his streetcars. <laughs> I'm making that up. That's not true as far as I know. <laughs> okay. Yep, that's it. All right, so we can move all this stuff out out of my way because we've got them all decorated oh I've got some Christmas music here that would be fun in these too okay let's see I need to take some time and straighten up again you know doing all the Christmas stuff it's just like oh, just has kind of gotten out of control a little bit okay I wanted to do the altered file folder um, journal too. And so I have a couple that I wanted. I think I'm going to leave that as is. So I have a couple more journal, uh, Christmas journals I'd like to do before December. And then December, I'll do my December daily, but I'm hoping to do some other projects in between. Goodness, you are so cute. Okay. So, actually, we can get rid of the glue book. Put it off the desk. Off the desk. Um, better put that lid on. And... So I had this weirdest thing happen this morning. Um, I went to, I had forgotten on my Etsy shares, I made it, it was private and I forgot to get it scheduled. And I went to work in my videos and some of them wouldn't come up. Like YouTube said, that all the, all the videos that were scheduled ahead wouldn't come up. And I was like, oh, don't tell me like five days worth of videos disappeared or something well no after I got done talking to my daughter I came down and looked again and they were there and it was fine it was just some little weird glitchy thing I was like don't do that to me about a heart attack so so yeah that that's how I started my day was having heart failure <clears throat> Maybe we'll see. I have this this um, little bit of music, which would be fun. I'm just 
going to tear this down a little bit. So in a way, this is a little mass making video, isn't it? Okay, and I'm just going to make that go in half, and I'm going to put that in the middle of this one. That's cute. Okay, so I need one more piece of paper to go in between something. What do I want? Oh, so look at me scraps. How about this one? Just fold it in half. Yep. I'll just put that in like that, in like that. And that is that one. I won't sew right now. We'll just keep playing with the, the things themselves. That's the most fun anyways. Oh, we've got only 20 minutes anyway. So 5, 10, 15. Okay. Okay. So this one. Oh, we might have to cut some more paper, hadn't we? I'm going to take three pieces and do the four and a half by six thing. Let's see, so this way we're going four and a half. I don't know why my brain has so much trouble with like spatial things, but um, I feel like it's a really good thing for me to do these sorts of things because it is good to exercise that part of my brain, you know? Okay, and so then these are gonna be six. And six. several more. We might have to do that again, but that's okay. Okay, so two here. Two more pages here. And two more. Okay, so there's three more pages. Um, I would like to use scrap wise. Where'd he go? This one. It's got a little um, little cocoa. Let's put that with this one, the little sledding one, because maybe they have hot cocoa when they get in from sledding. Okay, and then what do we have for scraps here? Oh, this is from my this is from my cardstock, and I thought I can cut that off right there and and use that to back a tag or something. So that was one of my, one of my weird things. Okay. Um, this. It's like super old paper. Ooh, I think that might crack though. Yeah, that's that's too old. That needs to be backing. There's some cardstock. Um, oh, how about one of these? these would work. Put that in the middle. So let's see. We want it to be six this away so that the lines go the right way. And 
and four and a half this way, right? But we've got another piece there too that we can use. Okay. Okay, so that can go in between here. You could put a doily, a little tiny doily in these. Yeah, just all sorts of stuff you could do. Okay, well, let's just do this. There. Doesn't have to be as tall. That. And then... Oh, it's this other pile of scraps. And let's look at this. Got mugs of hot chocolate too. Um okay, so this is six and four and a half. Another scrap bites the dust. Do I want that or I want that? I think I want that. Okay. Somewhere under here is my bone folder. Okay. That in there. Let's put this one with the kitties. Okay, that one's ready. So then after I do the video, I'll just zip, zip, zip and um, put them through the sewing machine. Okay, let's look at our Christmas scraps here and just see if I have something that could go in the middle. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Oh, well, that's very pink. So I don't know how the reds are gonna do. But this one will work. Christmas carols. It's about, seems like it's about the right size and everything. Yep. Okay, so that'll be in the middle of that one. Oh, we need something right there. Can I go this way? I could go this way. So what if we just do that? go right down this pink line and then just tear that okay so there's that one awesome let's cut three more pages or just two more just two more because we're running out of time. Okay. But this is so awesome because I've got really, these guys are pretty much ready to rock and roll. And so I did not think I would get this this far with this, with this video, but it's exciting. Always nice to get more done than you anticipated. <laughs> so six and six. Whoa, six is clear down here. <laughs> okay, cool. So we will have innards to all of these and have these just about all done up. Okay, so these two cute things. Cute, cute. So let's see if we can 
and use up this guy in the middle. We could, I do believe we could on that one. So it needs to be six, doesn't it? I'm gonna try and be better about always giving measurements because um, a couple people have said for newbies especially, it's hard to not hear the measurements because you don't, I, I guess, you know, maybe just don't quite have the feel for just, just doing. It helps you to have the measurements. So I'm trying to do better with that. Okay, so that's gonna go in this one. Meanwhile, we'll put this one. And then we used up those pink scraps. Isn't that good? Another successful scrappy Saturday. <laughs> okay, let's find a paper to go in between. And I just don't know what that's going to be, but I'm just going to dig in here a little bit. This would be cute in there, things to do today. And I have two of those. I have more than that. Let's use those up. Except that we're going to cut them at four and a half. And so then the little bit can go in the back of a collage roll or something. Four and a half. Yeah, those will still be good. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do is fold them so that the things to do today show. So not quite in half. I'm feeling good about this, guys. We got some... Good scrap using up and it's done. And these are so darn cute. So on, um, on these, I just need to distress them and sew them down the middle and they will be done like this one is. This guy's really, he, I think there was so much water in my art glitter glue that he's just he's bent a little bit it's just bent a little bit so there you have it i'll finish these up on my own and probably show you next video or something but thanks for thanks for joining me everybody i appreciate the scrappy saturday loves <laughs> so have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video bye everyone